Buongiorno! Welcome back to the Italian campaign. So it's now 1931. Spain has been defeated. I ultimately went on to uh, naval invade Western Spain and Mallorca. And I was just about to naval invade Western Sahara, but my armies from Morocco and Southern Algeria took it first. Hence the unrest. But Spain is done. They are no more. And uh, most of my fleet, well, all of my fleet, is now in port. Most of it is uh, set to um, low crew. Well, the expensive ships are set to slightly low crew. And they're all set to limited, so that I can keep making money. Even, um, even in peacetime. Speaking of peacetime, uh, sadly, it looks like it's going to be peacetime for quite a while. I've been um, antagonizing the British for a little bit. Got their uh, relations down to 26, down from 40. I guess my closest country to go to war with would actually be France, but we've already fought them. And uh, well, they don't really have that much to put up a fight with. Their economy has been shrinking by 11% all of this time. Uh, I don't know how they that happened because they were uh, they were growing at a healthy uh, healthy pace up until our last war with them, but now they're shrinking and their GDP is smaller than ours. Let's see, the Soviet Union also. Wow, uh, not do not doing too well on the economic uh, front here. Well. I guess. Germany doing quite well. They are at war with Britain. I am allied to Germany. You would think that would pull me into the war with Britain, but no. Apparently Britain is quite... Uh, Britain is cool with me. They do have the biggest GDP, though, by by a huge margin. They, they're, I think their GDP is that's almost the size of every other nation combined. Followed by the USA, then Japan, then Germany, and then me. So yeah, almost three trillion. Yet their navy is not that big. They're building a lot of ships. They're repairing some ships because they've been fighting uh, Germany and France, actually. So I've been uh, alternating between increasing tension with Britain, because you can't do that too turns in a row for some reason and improving relations with France it's not really going anywhere that fast but what has happened which is cool and which is what we're going to be doing now because no we're not going to be fighting uh, sadly this is not going to be a battle episode we're going to do some refits and assign some new ships because what we have is Radar Rangefinder 1, which is quite nice. Also, Tube Powder 2 and um, Krupp Armor 5. Quite a few of my ships are already being uh, refit or have been refit. I've been doing that off camera. The boring bits, just applying radar and hit refit, and that's it. So, this new battle cruiser that we designed and never built any of, we're gonna <laughs> redesign it, basically. And yes, I called it the Mocatino. I know that's a kind of coffee and not the name of the chef, ship, but Giuachino is quite a mouthful for me, so. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to design the refit. Uh, which is going to be quite simple. There's not that much to do. We're going to apply tube power 2. That decreases the, uh, the flash fire chance down from uh, 4.3. Range, 29.6 kilometers. And with tube power 2, 
30.8 kilometers and 2.1. Well, that's a decent little upgrade. Stereoscopic is fine, and take a look at the spotting range. 14,500. 24,215 meters. So, yeah, that's nice. Refit time. Two months. Not that it matters, because we're not actually refitting any ships. Can't do anything about the displacement while refitting. Mm. Let's just uh, do something to... Um, make it legal. It's not really that important. We can do more adjustments in just a minute. Now, here we have the refit design. We're going to hit copy. And here we go. A new class. That is basically the old class. What should we call this? Something, uh, something I can, can pronounce. Geo Scotty, that's the uh, that's the Roman towel boy, and we don't really care too much about that uh, that pesky <laughs> that pesky uh, naval treaty. So we're gonna up the displacement. There we go. Are we maxing it out? Yeah, sure. It gives us some uh, some weight to play with, which will go to auto reloaders. Mm, flash fire chance two point one. That is decent. If I up this to barbet five, I can up that to super heavy shells. Uh, it's three point three because super heavy shells give you more. Uh, more flash fire chance. Are we gonna make these 50 caliber or keep them as 45s? I think we're just gonna keep them at 45. Now, deck armor. We need deck armor. We need quite a bit of deck armor. How much can we slap on this before uh, the game says no? Five inches. We probably need some turret top armor as well. Can we do six? No, we can do uh, five point five on the turrets. Let's see that five inch turret here. Is that really needed? Isn't that a little bit superfluous? With all these four inch turrets that do already quite a good job at deterring uh, DDs. Yeah, I think so. We're gonna bump these up to 17% extra length. That makes them 40 calibers and a range of 13.5 kilometers, which is not bad for a 4.2 inch gun. Now that means we have some uh, some weight to uh, not that much weight to play with. Sorry, I thought we'd uh, saved some more weight by uh, turning that five-inch gun into a four-point-two-inch gun. But yeah, there we go, the Geo Scotty. Not really a new design, but kind of. So we're gonna save that. and finally start building some of them. Now, um, Duachino, not now I can suddenly say it, we're gonna get deleted because we now have the improved uh, design ready to go. I've deleted a bunch of old, um, old refits. I guess we can also delete... I've also, um, I'm refitting the dyno, 
So she also gets radar. So I can just go and delete the original design. The San Andrea. Away you go. Adina Maria Pia. Away you go. All right. Let's build four of these. Where are they going to be built? Do I have a big port for you guys? I should have something that's not already taken up so you can form the basis of a new task force. And Gaeta is kind of busy. Uh, something in Spain? Southern Spain. Barcelona. That's a nice port. Yeah, we can build you there. Now, we're also researching the Mark V 6-inch gun, which we get before the Mark uh, V 5-inch gun. So once that is done, we're going to start refitting some uh, some um, light cruisers. Let's see, we got we got some weight to spare. We got 130,000 tons to play with. And that means new battleship. Volcano class. That's actually a pretty uh, pretty nice name. Modern Battleship 2. We're gonna say um, 70 thousand tons that's a lot though that's a lot of tonnage how about more of an intermediate size 65 thousand tons that's still a very big battleship let's go with that to begin with and see just where we end up i'm gonna go with the best tower modern three so you look like that Oh, uh, oh yeah. Can we fit two funnels on this thing? 77. Nine, oh! Suddenly the American uh, style funnels are just heaps better. How fast are we gonna go with this? How fast can you go? 32 knots? That's basically a battlecruiser. Let's go oil two and turbo electric. Not enough engine efficiency. Okay, so we're not going with that secondary tower. That's a British uh, secondary tower, as with that one. Now, what can we pick that looks kind of decent? I guess that does look kind of decent, if a little bit small. We're just going to do two of the 90 capacity funnels. Looks a little bit naked in here. I think we're just going to go with a, um, a Japanese style rare tower. Or... That actually looks um, it looks a little bit better, I think. Volcano class. Now, what kind of guns will you be armed with? We now have the um, the 17 Mark III. 18 Mark III is being researched. Sixteen forty six. Are we gonna do a 12, uh, 12 times 16 kind of ship? Are we gonna make you kind of big? 
We might. We might do that. We might just do that. Big barrette. Perfect fit. Range is pretty good. We can turn that down a little bit. Don't really have um, that much of a world spanning empire to police. So it's not as if we need a whole bunch of range, really. Not that much. Not 27,000 is still pretty good. It's certainly not bad territory in terms of range. Slim you down just a little bit. So you kind of fit with the theme. 68,000. Yeah. Decent. Alright, we can build something on this. I think these funnels still look better. Like more um more Italian. Wait, seventy seven point five for both of these? So I can just pick the lighter one and it does the same. It's even smaller. But the American Mega Funnel is just uh, too good to pass up. So we're gonna go with that one. Simple ass. Auxiliary 3. Shaft 2, unbalanced, electric, corrupt 4. Let's go Barbit 5. Do we have enough displacement to even build this ship with this uh, level of firepower? We might not. We might not. Increased AP. Especially not if we're gonna go super heavy shells. TNT 2 and flash fire channels is 3.6. Which is not too bad. Yeah. I'm not sure if. Um, I'm now leaning towards stereoscopic, stereoscopic 5 on most of my ships. Even though the gun aiming speed and uh, you don't have the same base accuracy. The bonuses to long range accuracy and how Brother Munro has reworked the, uh, the balance between coincidence and stereoscopic. I think they might be worth it. Especially combined with radar. I think you get pretty good synergy here. With a spotting range of 26,000 meters base. You can actually see targets quite far out. 46 caliber. How about I just make you 45s? Minus 2 should be 45. It, the game still doesn't update if you reduce the barrel length. And you have more than one gun mounted. Let's see, let's keep 17 on the main belt. Is this even going to be enough to um, make the ship work? I think probably not. Okay. Yeah, we're uh, way overweight. So... We're gonna have to drop these down to doubles, I think. Which is a little bit sad. Considering I now have advanced triple turrets, I could also make it a three turret ship.
with nine sixteens. You know, I might do that. How about I just uh, give it 28 now top speed? Uh, didn't really make that much of a difference. Well, it's some, uh, some kind of difference. 28 now top speed, fine. That's what my other uh, faster battleships are going at. Can turn down the range and suddenly we have enough displacement. Barely. Barely. No, we're actually gonna reduce your size. Was it 60,000? There we go. Reduce your size and drop a turret. That's what we're gonna do. Like so. And then just try and balance it out and make this work. This is what this ship looks like now. Certainly a little bit less imposing, but yeah, 64,000 tons is still a uh, pretty impressive battleship. I'm gonna move all of this back. We're gonna add one of those tall secondary barbettes behind here. Like so. Can this be moved closer so it doesn't have that ugly gap? Yeah. And that one in the middle, like such. Alright, we're uh, starting to look like something here now. It looks kind of silly on top of that big barbette. Are we gonna go full Yamato? I think we might. Now these are still Mark IV. But in the future refit, they're going to be Mark V. I'm designing this now anyway. I'm not going to um, wait just to get a slightly better uh, six inch gun. Come on, don't you fit here? guess you just have to sit there. How about we remove you, then add that barbette here. Can they be f like free mounted or no, they have to slot in. There we go. That works. That works a little bit better. Now we can add the, uh, the triple four inch gun. Can add some of them back here also. That's decent. That works. Works for me. Okay. You're gonna be four point two, of course. Plus seventeen. So you're forty caliber. And now I can give you armor. Excellent, excellent. 
kind of armor can these six inch guns have? Not that much. Not that much. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna make you... 45 caliber? Let's try 9%. 45, yep. Now we can have a little bit more armor. Just a tiny bit more. 14.6 kilometer range. 13.5. Decent. Now, can I do anything about the armor on this uh, boat? Can I go 6 on the foreign at belts? I can. I like that. I like that. 500 tons to play with. Two inch guns. Why are you so ugly? Three inch guns? I want to wait until I get some nicer uh, two inch gun models. I guess I could use the quad turrets. They don't really fit that many places, so... Uh Yeah, no quad turrets. We're not doing two inch guns in uh, in my navy just yet. Increased ammo is probably important because I keep running out of ammo. Volcano. This was uh, suggested. Balbi, Balboa, as in Rocky Balboa. Because Italian Stallion. And Balboa, that sounds like it could be the name of a uh, an Italian warship. Can I just fine-tune you a little bit? There we go. Are we happy with this? I'm kind of happy with this. Six point five on the main deck. That certainly works, because now we're in the uh, starting to have to look at main gun penetration. Seven point one at three thousand meters. Mm, yeah. So far, a decent ship. Liking it. Would have liked it more if I could uh, keep it longer, though. And still, I'm um, doing... Um, when I'm doing historical designs, like the Littorio class, they are exempt for from my um, one battleship per hull rule. So designing this does not mean that I cannot design the Roma or whatever on the same hull. I still haven't... I need to find some good pictures of them to see which hull I need to build them on. And I know I'm getting more uh, modern battleship hulls after this. There we go. A battleship. What more are we gonna design? Need some more light cruisers, but I wanna wait until I get to mark 5 6 inch guns. Likewise, I want to wait until I get um, the uh, the Mark V five inch guns before I design any more DDs. We have a large cruiser one and two. Also, new battle cruiser hulls. Capri class. What's your thirty eight point five knots? Holy moly! 42,500, that's the exact treaty limit. <laughs> yeah, let's go 38 knots. If possible, I'm going to even build on this. Light advanced tower. That looks good. Why can't I have this <laughs> on the battleship?
A large secondary tower. Oh, is that the... Uh, that's not large. That's uh, that's a miniature secondary tower. It's a miniature version of the British uh, secondary tower. 77.5. You don't fit here. Do you fit there? Do you fit there? What's the point of funnel uh, slots? Where none of your funnels even fit. Hmm? see do we fit a funnel on this we do only the smallest one though how about that do you have a funnel slot I think it does it can fit all of the funnels but it needs to be uh, it's need needs to be the, the smallest one for aesthetic purposes maybe the second smallest one if it works. Nah, it has to be the smallest one. Otherwise the rear funnel is taller than the front funnel. And that looks uh, not right. Well, to Let's see, gear turbines. 19,200 tons. Maintenance, 21 million. And we're not even done yet. Mm. Let's keep it at gear turbines for now. Or turbo electric. Turn it on the range to the same as it would be with gear turbines in the range here. And actually save some weight. Makes the ship more expensive, but the maintenance is about the same. So, we're going to keep it at that okay that's a very long ship we have here so the 12 inch guns are now mark 4 we're gonna do uh, triple 12 inch guns make this a proper large cruiser let's keep it at, at that for now then build the rest of the ship and see um, how we need to move things around. And what kind of extra systems we actually have displacement for. Also Citadel 5, it's pretty nice. Uh, increased AP. So this is gonna be a cruiser killer. 35.3 kilometer range. This outranges my 16 inch guns. Uh, but the penetration drops off a cliff after like 5,000 meters. Still got a very good chance to hit though, out to 20,000 meters. So that is pretty good. Let's go tube powder 2. It drops the range quite a bit. What kind of flash fire channels do we have with... Don't even need to pick um, a TNT 2, I can go all the way to TNT 4. Because TNT 2 is the nice option because it gives all those reductions to flash fire chances. But 12 inch guns are not that big, so maybe that's why. Here we're gonna go um, coincidence. We're gonna keep standard shell size. Let's go heavy shells. Let's bump you up to 50 caliber because it's a nicer number. Yeah, we still have weight to play with, even at 38 knots. How fast can I make this uh, this boat? 39? 39 is possible. 40? We're getting up there in... Uh, 41. 
42 still possible. 43 is possible. 44, boom. I think 39 is a sensible speed. That way we don't murder the operational range and we still have some displacement left over for uh, for armor. Which I've heard is a pretty nice thing to have on a warship. But I don't think we need that much armor on it because 39 knots is still um, fast enough and <laughs> it's going to be very hard to hit at long range. So. We're not really going to prioritize uh, deck armor. We're just going to assume that if we're uh, far enough away that they can um, plunge through the deck armor. We're far enough away that they're not going to hit us in the first place. But a little bit of deck armor is fine. Needs to actually have some okay extended belts, seeing as this is going to fight cruisers. And I just don't want it to... Um, receive a lot of extended belt pens and flood and be made slower. Okay, are we... Uh, decently happy with this. I think we are. Let's move things around and uh, make things fit. Are we going with a long main belt on this? Yeah, we are. Long main belt and citadel. gonna make it slightly heavier but we still have weight to spare to uh, to place the secondaries so is all good actually just put a secondary on that tower I forgot so we can space that out a little bit let's go with a standard one here space you out a little bit now what do we do for secondaries of course Four inch. You don't fit here. That's lame. Actually, I uh, I changed my mind. I know we don't have the uh, the Mark V six inch gun yet. Oh, that's a big barbet. Is that gonna look uh, decent or lame? Uh, it looks decent. But they can be refit in a future um, refit. 45 caliber. So now these secondaries can join in um, in killing cruisers, which can be quite useful. That does not mean we're not going to use uh, the where do you fit? You do fit a couple of places. I'm just going to place this kind of in the middle so it looks uh, looks better. There we go. You don't fit here. You fit here. There we go. That's a decent secondary armament, all things considered. You all have good arcs of fire. 13.7 kilometer range. Not too bad. Not too bad. And we have almost a thousand tons to play with. Triple bottom? Yeah, sure. Can I bump you up to 40? 
No. Nah. 39. That's uh, the same speed as my latest DDs, which is uh, pretty amazing for a ship of this size. 14.5 on the main belt. It seems like a good idea. Mm. Oh, it's probably also a nice thing to have some conning tower armor. Mm, yeah, no, this is nice. I like this as it is. Capri class. But what fits on these here? I want to know. You fit here. But of course you made it all overweight after I spent this long um, Trying to make things work. Oh, you don't get a double here. When I get the Mark Fives, I hope these uh, turn into better looking models. The single, double, and triple barrel tuned guns. Now let's actually bump you down to uh, 14 inch on the main belt again. Because I think that just worked nice. And 14 on the conning tower. It's nice to have some of these here. Can drop these off. That's fine. In case the DDs just get really close. But yeah, that's nice. I like the look. How about we make you the uh the poster child? Oh, the episode. Like that. It kinda works. Save design. Alright, what more? The Icarus class. Also a uh, a class of ship that was never built. Because I didn't have the um, the shipyard capacity at the time. So we're gonna do the same thing as we did to the uh, the Geo Scotty. We're gonna refit and copy. Okay, here we are. Krupp 4, Citadel 5, it's not that old. It now has the Mark IV 11 inch gun. 62 caliber. This is. Um, did I increase your uh, barrel length? I think I did. Oh, that's the barbette armor, not the length. 61. These are 60 caliber base. Holy moly. Maybe the uh, the battle cruiser we just assigned is uh, superfluous, considering we have this. Oh, it's actually faster. That's the crazy thing. This one has range, though. Can we... Um, how fast can we make it? Can this also go 39 knots? No, cannot go 39 knots. So we're going to keep that 35. It's a more uh, reasonable speed. Going to go 2 powder 2 though. Keep the coincidence. Give it auto 1. Radar for uh, long range spotting. If 
flash fire challenge is basically zero. 11.60. That's quite the, uh, that's quite the gun for a heavy cruiser. What can you, um, your pen is not that amazing, all things considered. At 20,000, 6.2 inches. How about I make you heavy? 6.6. .6. Super heavy? 6.9 at 20,000 meters. Belt pen. And 2.6. Actually, almost 6 inches at 30,000 meters. At 31.4 it would probably be 6 inches too. Not bad. I think we're gonna go super heavy on this. Reload time does not take uh, crew training into consideration so it's gonna be much faster than 40.5 seconds. Let's up that barbette. Flash fire channels went up as we um, gave it heavier shells. This is a decent ship. Can I up the uh, the belt armor? Can it go to ten? Yes, <laughs> barely, but we got it done. Save the sign, and we're gonna copy. Okay, and this modernized design is the Daedalus. So we're gonna save that and then just delete the original Icarus because we don't need that design anymore. Now, is there anything else we need to design? There's a new heavy cruiser hull also and another large cruiser hull. But maybe that will have to wait until the next episode? Now we can at least take a look at them now. So we built Large Cruiser 2, that was the uh, the Copry class. Large Cruiser 1, what do you look like? Oh, you got the thing in the middle. The thing in the middle that just gets in the way. Is there like, any magical funnel combination that can be uh, placed on the thing? No. Okay, we're not building you. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Lodge Cruiser 1, but... Um, you're not that interesting. Modern Heavy Cruiser 5. Also not built this one. How big can you even be? 18,000 tons. Um, default tower which don't fit. Or we can have um, <laughs> tiny tower with terrible spotting range. Uh, this default tower fits. It's very defaulty, but fine. If you're going to give me the default uh, main tower, at least give me the default <laughs> secondary tower. Both of these are 55. But this one is lighter. They have the same stats. The exact same stats. Does that look fine? Yeah, it does. Guess we can build a. Um, we can try try and build a ship on this hull. Not sure if it's gonna be a good. Um, let's not make it eighteen thousand tons. That is um, a little bit excessive. Fifteen thousand is fine. We have the Daedalus as the uh, the huge freaking uh, cruiser build something a little bit more sensible on this. How about 9 inch quads?
sensible, I say, and I stick 16 uh, 9 inch guns on a cruiser. But relative to a lot of things, it's not that crazy. It's not brosilly levels of uh, crazy. Uh, the usual stuff. Anti-Torp 3. And I'm going Anti-Torp 3 because, uh, look, 13,000 tons with Anti-Torp 5, how heavy. Uh, it's not actually that much heavier in this case. But it's still a um, <laughs> decent chunk of weight that you stack onto the ship. Let's see, double cap. You are 40 caliber already. 21 kilometer range, 2 powder 2, that's 18.7. I think we're gonna make, yeah, make these barrels a little bit longer, yeah. Let's go heavy shells, let's go auto. Certainly let's go increased ammo. RDF doesn't weigh that much, but we get better uh, gun aiming speed and reconnaissance. So I think it's worth taking, even with radar. Let's see, 11 on the turret sides. 3.5 on the top is is fine. Let's go 9 on the main belt. Okay. What about speed? 36.1. Oh yeah, I forgot to give you speed. So we're probably going to ruin the uh the weight now. Let's go 35. Same as my other cruisers. Four weight offset. Like so. I think we have to reduce armor by a little bit. Yeah, we don't need that much armor on a um, on a cruiser. Certainly not deck armor. Eight inch main belt that just about works. No. Oh. Let's drop the inner belts down a little bit. Like so. A little bit more armor on the conning tower. Can't hurt. Now, I would still like to make these longer, just because 18.4 kilometer range is uh, starting to get into the um, not viable territory. 5% longer and you're 42 caliber. Now, I think you're just going to have to be default length for now, because there needs to be secondary guns. And you already know what we're going for. Let's place you kind of in the same spot. You actually fit right on the dot here. That's fine. Okay. Four point two as usual. Thirty three caliber. Do we have to make you all the way up to seventeen to make you? Uh... No, you don't even fit at that point.
You can't even make you 35s. Well, I guess I probably should be able to. If I just manually place you uh, like this. Like so. Alright, that works. We're still overweight though. Fat boat is fat. Let's try and be a little bit less fat. 18. Will it be lighter with turbo electric drive? No, it will be heavier. But the range is at least decent. Standard shell is probably a good idea. That bumps the range up. If we do light shells... 19.3 If I do go Corite 3... 20.9 kilometer. Flash fire chance is higher though. We're gonna go uh, two part of two. It's the safest bet. And what are we gonna sacrifice? Well, the Ettore Fiera Mosca. Let's go. Well, uh, let's just make it a little bit bigger and hope that works. It kind of does. For the big funnel two here, yeah, it's heavier though. Oh, I didn't know I could fit two funnels on that. I had no idea, but yeah, that makes uh, that makes things easier. That makes things a lot easier with. Um, regards to things. Why are you so heavy? Why are you so light? This huge box is 168 tons. This little dainty thing is... heavier? Let's go for the lightest one then. Let's just go for the lightest one and um, move things around a bit. Okay, I'm sorry, we're dropping off a couple uh, secondary guns here. Like so. Can I fit a uh, tiny barbet here? There we go. Yeah, these still have a decent arc of fire. And like so. So I don't actually lose any uh, secondary firepower by removing uh, the one on this blister. Because this can fire to both, uh, both sides. Okay. So I think I got it working now. 20 tons to spare. Am I gonna... Sp oh yeah, I do have to spend that weight on something because I need to armor up my uh, my 4.2 inch guns. There we go. Exactly. One ton under. 
that's a decent uh, that's a decent heavy cruiser spotting range of 25,575 meters with the radar not too shabby and of course 16 9 inch guns nothing to scoff at what's the armament of the um the Zara class uh 12 and the Etnos it's got 8 so twice the guns granted these are 9 inch guns not 10 inch guns but still 400 million almost as expensive as the Daedalus class and I think not quite as good but still what's the other uh, the Farnese class a little bit more expensive than the Farnese class quite a bit more expensive than the Zara class I think the Zaras are gonna be the the mainstay of the fleet for some time to come just because they're uh, quite a bit cheaper but I want to build some of these they're kind of funky and now that I have the uh, the improved quad turrets the quad turrets might not actually be useless although accuracy is still gonna be inferior to uh, twins and triples It's quite an imposing sight, though. Eight guns firing straight forward. That's the uh, that's the full broadside of some ships. But that's it for this episode. Uh, just a pure building episode. I will try to get a war going. Uh, again, I cannot promise there will be an episode with actual fighting tomorrow, but. You never know. Goodbye and take care.